Star Wars is in disarray. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Cancel Ray. Cancel Ray. Mandalorian, you're out of here. Uh, what else? Taika Waititi, pack it up, Thor Love and Thunder, dude. Everyone else, you fired. Everyone's fired. Nothing can make sense anymore. Something's going on at Disney Lucasfilm where they have decided that no movie is good enough anymore. The only one we haven't heard from is Sean Levy. But we're going to talk a little bit about the retconning, the redoing, the restructuring of the sequel trilogy. The true sequels of Star Wars are coming. Hey everyone, give us a like, and if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and ding that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest Star Wars videos. Love it or hate it, Lucasfilm will not be erasing the sequel trilogy. But given the Ray movie delays or it's on hold or it's never going to happen or who the heck knows what is going on with that, it's time to look at the facts. Lucasfilm, Disney Lucasfilm, the new era of Star Wars is headed in a new direction. Skywalker Saga will be taking a backseat. Look at it in the rearview mirror because it ain't coming forward. Taking one last look, sir. They're going to leave Ray, Finn, Poe, and Dead Ben at the side of the road, and we're moving on. The Mandoverse is the future of Star Wars. But it's more exciting than just that. Yes, there are the rumors, Daniel RPK reporting that the Mando season 4 will never happen because it turned into the movie. We also know that Giancarlo Esposito years ago said that Mandalorian was only meant to be four seasons. It was only meant to be four seasons, so it all adds up and makes complete sense. But let's talk a little bit about what they'll be doing in the future. Now, I will be talking about this a little bit tomorrow on Unleashed, a little different view of this on Unleashed on the Rebel Scum podcast channel. So check that out tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. But let's dig deep into this new direction of Star Wars. Retconning the sequels? Maybe, maybe not. Episode 7, 8, and 9 will remain in canon. But Lucasfilm will be moving away from the Skywalker Saga's direct influence. According to Dave Filoni, executive producer of The Mandalorian, and if you're watching this video, you know who Dave Filoni is. Just imagine me saying this with a cowboy hat on. Uh, Go Penguins. Never. Go Leafs. Go. In my experience, there's definitely a way to weave everything together and make it exciting. It's possible it would never even have to cross over with what we saw in the sequel trilogy. If the story has us somewhere else. Keyword somewhere else. This tells us Lucasfilm isn't retconning the sequels, but the future of Star Wars will now be in new hands. Episodes 7, 8, and 9 won't be erased, but won't carry the same weight in the overall Star Wars timeline moving forward. The focus will shift to new characters, new villains, and entirely new adventures. We already know Thrawn is here. He's made his way from Peridia, and he is back in the known galaxy, followed, of course, by Ezra Bridger. And we know that Thrawn is up to something, and we can assume, which you should never do, that he will be the villain for a period of time. But he may not stay the villain for long. Thrawn is a brilliant strategist, and after his initial conflict with our heroes, I get the feeling that Thrawn won't be killed. Instead, he'll play an even bigger role in helping defeat the Yuuzhan Vong, an alien race from the Star Wars Expanded Universe that I believe will be making their way into canon in the Dave Filoni-helmed film. The Yuuzhan Vong are unlike anything we've seen before, ruthless, technologically advanced, and completely immune to the Force. This makes them a nearly unbeatable enemy for both the Jedi and the Sith. With the threat this powerful, Thrawn could shift from adversary to uneasy ally. Can you imagine Din Djarin, Ahsoka, Ezra, Aal, and Thrawn working together against a common enemy? In Star Wars Legends, the Yuuzhan Vong are a warlike species that invades the galaxy causing massive destruction. If they are introduced into the new saga, the stakes are going to skyrocket. The Yuuzhan Vong's absence from the Force makes them terrifying for Force users like Ahsoka and Ezra to face. This is where characters like Din Djarin, this is the way. a non-Force user, and Thrawn, a master tactician, could shine as they find unconventional ways to fight back. This sets up an epic galaxy-wide war that could span multiple Disney Plus series and movies, bringing the saga into an entirely new kind of threat that fans haven't seen on screen before. But the Yuuzhan Vong are just the beginning. 
Valen Scott has been searching for something far more dangerous. In fact, his journey is likely leading us to Abeloth, a dark ancient forest entity from Star Wars Legends. Abeloth represents chaos incarnate and could be the biggest threat the galaxy has ever faced. One must destroy in order to create. Balin's skull may end up being the key to unleashing Abeloth on the galaxy, plunging the galaxy into chaos. If true, this would make Abeloth the final villain of the new Star Wars saga, bringing the Force and the galaxy into its darkest, most dangerous conflict yet. One of the wildest theories out there is that of Shin Hati. Got a video on it? Check it out on the channel. Balin Skull's apprentice could play a much larger role than anyone expected. Fans speculate that Shin could either be resurrected or possessed by Abeloth, becoming her physical vessel. This would make Shin one of the most dangerous characters in Star Wars moving forward. Imagine Shin leading the bandits on Peridia, transformed into an unstoppable avatar of chaos. Abeloth's influence through Shin could drive the galaxy toward a final confrontation that could completely reshape everything we know about the Force and the Star Wars universe. Balin Skull's search for a greater power and balance in the galaxy could be directly linked to Abeloth's storyline in Legends, where she sought to destroy both the Jedi and Sith to bring about chaos. Shin Hati's role is still shrouded in mystery, but the idea that she could become a vessel for Abeloth fits with her growing connection to the dark side and her ambition for power. Dave Filoni loves Star Wars Legends content, like Grand Admiral Thrawn, suggests we could see more Legend characters and storylines like Abeloth brought into canon. As we've seen with the introduction of characters like Thrawn and the hints towards the world between worlds in Ahsoka, Lucasfilm isn't afraid to pull from Legends or their animated content to enrich the story. Abeloth could be the perfect way to take Star Wars into its most thrilling, dangerous phase yet. The future of Star Wars is looking more exciting than ever, with characters like Grogu, Mando, Ahsoka, Ezra, Sabine, Thrawn, everyone, there's so many! Leading the charge, the galaxy is heading into a brand new war. The introduction of the Yuuzhan Vong and the potential rise of Abeloth could turn Star Wars into a darker, more chaotic saga where anything is possible. Are we ready for a galaxy where Thrawn becomes an ally? Will Shin Hati become the new Abeloth? Let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into a galaxy far, far away.